Breakfast in Bayardo. The window to my right is open and filled with mountains that layer the distance until there is almost no room for sky. The key hung by the door has been stretched tight by gravity. Pulled into place, every chair in the room is empty. The sugar bag crackles and the line along the cooker tells me that the ants are on the march. There's hundreds of birds on the roofs. Here, ho! To woof, we rubber with that pigeon beast, they love it, dove it, ruffle your feathers, show me your plume! Look at that, Frank. What a look. What a nut. Plod on then, moldy breeded. Whoop, whoop. Look at that. Tingle fugle boogaloo. That's not even a crow. That's a dinosaur. There'll be teeth in that beak, that's for sure. Oh, beady eye, beady eye, get away the gable. She's fair as social. What a life, Frank. What a life. Feeding on scraps, hunting for crumbs. But listen to this. Listen to this. We're no dodos. We can fly. Forget about the fields, Frank. Look at the sky. Me an e, me me mark rack a e I do, me rack a sugar I lollipop to take a your head. Oh here we laugh, I just say aye, we didn't keep pinky um pam pie. Skiddly, weedly, wadly, we riggy diggy do, and away you go. We are inside the kick and crunch of colour, where autumn's taken its dagger and opened up our veins so the pavements aren't so grey, our heartbeats are not so bleak, and this kiss means more than warmth and blood.
Monuments of the mind. Three men sit at the kitchen table. My grandfather smokes Bobby Virginia. Making a roll up has become his ritual. He teases tobacco from the tin because his fingers help him think. My father smokes silk cut and has a certain way of holding a cigarette. Trapping at the base of his first two fingers and lifting it to his mouth so his hand covers the lower half of his face. I don't smoke, but there's a bowl of soup in front of me. Both men like to see me eat. The room has been stained by two lifetimes of tobacco smoke, and it doesn't physically exist, but it's where I come for advice. In fact, both men no longer exist, but their voices are as familiar as my own feelings. I slam my spoon onto the table. Well, if that's the way it is, then that's the way it is. That's the way it is, says my grandfather. My father nods his head. He says, that is the way it is. a.m. on New Year's Day 2010. My curtains are half closed. Moonlight shows me the woman sleeping with her back toward me. 
She has the outlines of stars tattooed onto her spine. Each one smaller until the void beneath the duvet makes it difficult to see. Tonight is the first time we've met. With the tips of my fingers, I touch the distance between the first two stars. Then I half that distance, and half it again, and half it again. Because infinity has its space and time. It's a process. <laughs>